All right. Hi, everybody. And hello, Marta. I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> This snowy day. Um, well, first, thank you for being here on this lovely snow day. Couldn't think of a better, cozier place to be than with you guys. So thanks for being here. Um, I'm Tay. I'll be leading you through the next hour of your practice. We do still have a mask ordinance. So if you feel it's unsafe for you to practice with your mask on or you have a condition where you shouldn't, only you can make that call on your mat space. Um, and under that same exemption, I won't be wearing a mask while I teach this evening. And did everybody grab two blocks? Okay, so exciting. <laughs> Look at us go, <laughs> block stuff. Um, okay, I won't give too much away, but um, we're gonna do some fun stuff tonight. Let's play around a little bit per usual. Um, but something I want you to keep in mind while we are enjoying the physicality of our practice is that um, yoga has a really beautiful way to teach us a lot about ourselves, right? How we show up in moments of challenge, how we show up in our triumphs and our trials, right? Everything in between. Um, but I think the most important thing that it can show us is that we are our own greatest teacher. So, you know, I'm gonna offer a lot of stuff tonight and ultimately it's up to you to decide what resonates, what doesn't, what your path looks like. So with that in mind, let's begin our class in child's pose. Take your knees open apart towards the edges of your mat. Guide your big toes to touch behind you. <clears throat> Create length in your spine, reach your fingers forward. Rest your torso between your thighs. Now in these early moments of integration into our practice, into this space, just appreciate how you showed up tonight. Right? Maybe you're in those cozier snow day type of vibes, or maybe you're ready for a little more intensity, a little more fire in your practice. Whatever that looks like is completely fine. Take a deep breath in through your nose, fill up. Big sigh, let it go. Again, inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Take your biggest breath so far. Feel your ribs expand outward, your chest forwards. H-A, ha. <clears throat> Good. Now seal your lips, breathe in and out through your nose for ujjayi pranayama. And as you start to stoke your internal fire, option to tent your fingertips here. Create a little more expansion through your lats, through your heart space. Maybe walk your fingertips forward as you actively press your hips back. Take a couple more rounds here on your own. <clears throat> Begin to press your palms flat. Gently inhale your way through tabletop. Start to move on your own. Friends at home, once you arrive seated, we'll cue up our playlist. We're rocking our saucy playlist again. The first song is called Make It Through. We will press play in three, two, one. Start to deepen your breath. Even more mindful, rich inhales through your nose. Exhale through your nose or your lips, right? You know what you need tonight. Let's take like four more breaths on our own and then we'll sync up with each other. Beautiful choices. <clears throat> Journey back to a neutral table. Create length in your spine. And inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly button down. Lift your gaze and your tailbone upward. Exhale, cat. Curl your chin to your chest. Dome your back. Squeeze your core in. Inhale, cow pose. Squeeze the muscles of your back body. Open your heart forward. Exhale, cat. Curl in. Press into the earth. One more time. Inhale, cow pose. Really contract and activate. Exhale, cat. Press the floor away. Good. Inhale, back to neutral. Ground your left hand down. Inhale, sweep your right arm open towards me. Start to find some movement through your wrist or your arm, maybe bigger circles, whatever feels good. Good, and find one more breath in as you are. Exhale, thread the needle. Send your right arm beneath you, your right shoulder and right ear towards your mat. Gaze to the left. We've got a couple breaths to land here, then we'll start to incorporate movement. You can extend your arm if you'd like or find a different variation, but we'll journey it back to beneath our shoulder in just a moment. <clears throat> Good. 
Now bring your left hand back beneath your shoulder if it journeys. Inhale, spiral open towards me. Straighten your right leg for modified side plank. We're gonna floss it out between these two postures. Exhale, drop your knee, wrap under. Maybe you go all the way down. Then inhale, open up, spiral. Good, go at your own pace. Exhale. Inhale, spiral open. Good, couple more rounds on your own. Really squeeze the muscles of your belly as you contract and curl. Big sweep open, press into your left hand as you lift. Good. Love the different options and depths here, really good. Once you finish your second round, we'll meet in modified side plank. Reach your right arm high. Maybe start to float your right leg up. Good. Stretch as if you could float away from the earth. Option to stay here or bend your top knee. Grab the pinky side edge of your foot. Start to kick your hips towards me. Peel your heart open. Maybe shift your gaze up. Deep breaths. Squeeze your top glute to help press your hips one more inch forward. Good, with control, modified side plank open. Exhale, tabletop. Ground your right hand and your right knee. A little wiggle to reset if that feels good. <sighs> now let's take it to the second side. Press your right hand down. Spiral your left hand open as you breathe in. Find movements if you did so before. Circles, wrist rolls. Take a bright breath in here. Exhale, thread the needle. And hold this first set on this side. Take the same variation you found for yourself before. Even as we twist and compress, let your breath stay just as full and expansive. One more inhale. Exhale your right hand beneath your shoulder. Inhale, open, modified side plank to the left. Good, then we'll start to floss it out between these two. Exhale your left hand under, your left knee down. Wrap and twist. Then inhale, spiral open. Your pace, your rhythm. Feel this in your body. Squeeze your core as you contract and lower down. Continue to drive strength through your right hand the whole time as you press. Good. Couple more rounds. Balance out your sides right to left. These look really mindful. Super smooth. Start to make your way back to modified side plank and float your left leg if you did so before. Feel your outer hips start to work. Squeeze through your side bodies to create length. Stay or bend your left knee. Grab the pinky edge of your foot. Then drive your hips towards the mural. Expand, think like a back bend. Squeeze the muscles of your back. Open your chest. Nice, Chad. Beautiful M. Stay for one more full breath out. <sighs> Inhale, modified side plank. Exhale, tabletop. Find your way to downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, send your hips up and back. You're welcome to add movements, bend your knees, pedal through your feet. Just a couple breaths here to ground. And stay here as you exhale your air. Inhale to your tiptoes, gaze forward with control. 10 teeny tiny steps to ragdoll. Take your feet super wide apart. Opposite hand to opposite elbow to start. Add some movements, maybe bounce or shake, move through your head. Get it, Allie. Right, now you're welcome to keep this hand grip or chest expansion. Interlace your hands into a fist at your low back. Allow your fist to drip away from your back body. Feel your shoulders and heart space open just a little bit more. Last inhale as you are. Good, by way of your low back, exhale your hands to your mat. Toe heel your feet a little bit closer. So keep them hips width distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Press into your shins or thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, mountain. Ground down. Rise all the way to stand. Pause here for a moment. Hug your core tight. Wrap your pinkies in. Soften your shoulders down. Take a big breath and lift. Exhale, cactus back bend. Squeeze. Good. Inhale, mountain. Listen for the change. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your heart up, send your fists down. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, keep your bind. Good, now inhale, halfway lift, readjust your hands to your shins or thighs, separate your grip. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank and hold. Stack your shoulders above your wrists. Think angry cat, press the floor away from you, dome your spine, squeeze your belly up and in. Nice, Courtney. Good, with control, inhale, shift forward just slightly. Exhale, lower all the way down as slow as you can. Nice, Marta. We'll set up for some rolling cobras. Keep your hands by your low ribs. Keep the tops of your feet flat. Big toes to touch. 
Inhale, cobra pose, peel your ribs and heart away from the earth. Maybe your hands lift. Hold this first set just to really fire up the muscles of our back. One more inhale, then we take a breath to movement. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, peel your heart space up and forward. Exhale, drop it down. Two more, inhale, squeeze your glutes, squeeze everything. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift. See if you can lift one more rib away from the floor. Exhale, your hands down. Tuck your toes, inhale through high plank and pause. Good friend, plank, let's stay here again, just a moment. Hug your belly up and in. Now inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga this time. Pause halfway, elbows by your side. Good, inhale, up dog, flip your feet, open your chest. Exhale, down dog, send your hips high. Yeah. All right, friends, that is our sun A today. We will flow breath to movement. Picking up the pace, we'll add on a little bit with our chaturangas. As you inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, or hop. Option for feet to touch or hips with. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain, root and reach up. Exhale, cactus, squeeze your glutes, press your hips forward. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, find a fist behind you. Inhale, puff up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, half lift, readjust your bind, hands to legs. Exhale, high plank, step back. With control, lower all the way down once more. Good, start to reach your arms out in front of you. Tent your fingers. Friends in the front row, we might have to go sideways. Good, we'll start to alternate right hand, left leg lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press, big squeeze. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift, keep alternating. Squeeze through your entire back line. Point or flex your toes to create more activation. Squeeze your glutes to help you. Squeeze your hamstring. Squeeze your mid and low back. Do you guys feel these? Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. You guys are just breezing through. They look super easy. We're here for four. Ooh, for three. Last two. And one. Hands beneath your shoulders. Press up plank. Squeeze your core. Puff up your back. Stretch out through your back body. Good. Inhale, shift forward. Flow it out through chaturanga. Exhale, down dog. Send your hips high. Beautifully done. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more time through sun A. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, or float. Inhale, half lift. Get it, Emma. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Ground and reach. Exhale, cactus back bend. Hug the muscles of your back. Inhale, rise tall, mountain. Exhale, find a bind behind your back. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, forward fold, softly melt down, beautiful. Inhale, half lift, readjust your hands. Exhale, your flow to downward facing dog. Any layer, any variation. Good, exhale your hips to the sky, down dog, really nice. Inhale, sweep your right leg high. Bend your knee, open your hip, but squeeze through your right glute as you do so. Rotate your right shoulder down towards your mat. Nice, Angela. <sighs> Stay here for your exhale. Then square your hips. Take a big breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Curl in. Dome your back. Big squeeze. Inhale, three leg dog. Lift. Exhale, lunge. Step forward. Take some organic movement. Just a few breaths if you need to shift side to side, forward, back. <sighs> Then let's meet in our lunge. Tent your left fingers or ground them. Inhale, easy twist. Reach your right arm high. Pull your right hip back and then lift your left hip up a little bit higher. Good. Inhale right here. Exhale, modified pyramid. Option for a hug. Wrap your right arm beneath your right thigh as you press your hips up. Keep your left heel high like you're wearing a stiletto. Really good adjust. All right, bend your knee. Inhale, easy twist. Let's flow two times. Exhale, pyramid. Option to hug. Inhale, spiral open. Exhale, modified pyramid. One more time. Inhale, twist. Exhale, modified pyramid. Ground your right hand. Inhale, one leg half lift. Come forward. Send your left leg out behind your left hip. If you want some movement on your own here, feel free to do so. <sighs> Otherwise, just stay as you are. Square your hips. Maybe melt your chest a little bit deeper. Gorgeous expressions. Find an inhale here, create length wherever you are. Exhale, forward fold, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms high and hold. Shift your weight back. 
Lift your toes upwards off of your mat. Nice, y'all. Hug your core in to create space in your back and then sink your tailbone down a little bit lower. Find a deep inhale. Exhale, airplane torso. Hug your pinkies together. Lift your collarbones open and up. Let's flow a few times. Inhale, chair. Exhale, plane. Inhale, chair, sweep. Exhale, plane. Inhale, chair. Last time we plane and hold. Get your hips as low as they can go and then float your heels up, drinking bird. Hug your ankles in, your calves in. Squeeze to the midline. If you want to pulse it out, make it a little sassier, go for it. But keep your focus on your breath. What do you need here? Here's four, three. Keep your heels up in two. Inhale, tippy toe mountain, rise. Squeeze the muscles of your back and your core. Good, drop your heels, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, open your heart space. Exhale, down dog, send your hips up. <sighs> Inhale, your left leg high. Bend your knee, fan your hip, but do it with strength. Sometimes we just let our knee fall over. Can you engage the muscles of your back to create a little more lift? Then press your left hand even more fiercely into your mat. Really nice, y'all. Inhale, square your hips, kick your legs straight. Exhale, knee to nose, puff up, shift forward, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, lunge, step. Flow it out, surf it out. A few breaths on your own here, just to warm up through our hips. Start to gravitate back to your lunge. Ground your right hand, inhale, easy twist to the left. Spiral your chest open, plug your left hip back, press your right heel high, energize the muscles of your right leg. Beautiful adjust, take a breath in. Exhale, modified pyramid option to wrap your left arm beneath your leg. Hold this first set, compress belly to thigh and pick your hips up. Now let's flow, bend your knee, inhale, twist open. Exhale, pyramid, hug it out, squeeze. One more, or two more rather, bend your knee, inhale. Exhale, wrap and shift your hips back. Now last one, inhale, bend your knee, spiral your heart. Exhale, modified pyramid. Ground your left hand, inhale, one leg, half lift. Launch forward, breathe into the back of your left leg, right? Allow your hamstring to lengthen with ease, with space. You are your own greatest teacher. You know how deep to go. You know what variation feels good. Beautiful expressions, y'all, seriously. Nice, Jackie. Get it, Alex. Let's stay here for one more inhale, wherever you are. Exhale, forward fold, feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips down, sweep your arms high. Good, exhale, chair plane, take your hands back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plane and pause. Drinking bird, once again, option to fan your heels up away from your mat. Now you can stay here or lifted chair. Take your arms overhead, but stay low through your legs and your seat. Can you press your heels just a little bit higher? And maybe now you pulse from this space with arms up. Good, here's four, three, Two, forward fold, heels flat, nicely done. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, find your flow. <sighs> exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let something go, exhale, out through your lips. Ah, nice breath, y'all, let's do that one more time, inhale. Big sigh. Ah. All right, that's the basis for our flow. We're going to keep building on a little bit. Inhale your right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to your nose. Curl forward, dome your back. Inhale, three legs. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Lift as high as you can. Beautiful. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, twist to your left shoulder. Little tap, squeeze. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, lunge, step forward, pause. Ground your left hand. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, modified pyramid, wrap. One more time, breath to movement. Inhale, twist, bend your knee. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, standing splits, launch forward and up. This time we'll add on. Exhale, left knee to your nose, little tiny curl, squeeze. Inhale, through, uh, standing splits. Exhale, curl, squeeze. One more round, inhale. Exhale, curl her in. Woo. Inhale, splits. Exhale, forward fold, feet to touch. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, compress, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips low. Take your arms high. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale your left knee high. Pause. One leg mountain. Good. Level out through your hips. Scoop your core up and in. Now interlace your hands. Press them onto the top of your left thigh. Pull your knee up as you press your hands down. Start to build isometric fire through your core, through your grounded leg, through your lifted leg. Do you guys feel this now? Okay, great. Confirmation is always great. Keep pressing. Keep squeezing. Flex your left toes up. Make yourself shake. Here's four. Just three. Last two. Inhale, one leg mountain. Good. Exhale, open twist to the left. <sighs> Shoulders over hips. Micro bend your elbows. Peel your collarbones wide apart. Just one more exhale right here. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Sink your hips down and back, but pull your chest forward and open. Flex through your toes. <sighs> Stay here for your exhale. Inhale, one leg mountain. Super smooth, exhale, crescent airplane torso. Step back, mindfully, light path, good. Press your right hip back as you guide your left heel up. Really strong assist, or adjust rather. Stay slightly forward and down, get long through your belly. One more exhale here. <sighs> Inhale, warrior two, open up, take up space. You're welcome to surf it out, take time for yourself here. These moments of intuitive movement are, again, where we teach ourselves the most about where we're at, how we're doing. So notice. And then settle in. Hug your inner thighs up and in. Create power through your leg. Find one more inhale here. Exhale, extended side angles. Shift forward and down. Bring your right arm towards your right thigh. Create more isometric engagement between your right limbs. Press to rotate open. Look up towards the sky. Good, last exhale as you are. Inhale, reverse warrior, stay low, reach your right arm back. Shift your right knee a little further forward. Good, one more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, find your flow. Get it, duty. Oh, all right, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, fill up. Big sigh, let it go. Ah. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, curl in, dome your back. Inhale, three legs, send it up. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder. <sighs> Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, left knee towards your right shoulder, tap. Nice, Mina. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, lunge, step. Ground your right hand. Inhale, easy twist to the left, spiral. Exhale, pyramid with a hug, wrap. <sighs> One more, inhale, twist. Exhale, modified pyramid, wrap. Good, ground your hand, inhale, standing split. Launch up, good. Exhale, right knee to your nose, curl into a little ball. Inhale, three leg, re-extend. Exhale, knee to nose, wrap tight. Inhale, re-extend. One more time, exhale, curl. Inhale, splits to lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, feet together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, chair pose for the breath. Exhale, plane, take your arms back. Inhale, your right knee high and hold. One leg mountain. Set it up first. Rotate your right hip down in line with your left. Scoop your core in, lift tall. Now interlace your fingers. Bring them to the top of your right thigh. Active pressure between your two hands and your right thigh. Pull up and press down. But keep your right knee in line with your hip. Scoop your low belly up and in. Let it get uncomfortable. Notice how do you show up in this moment? Woo! One more round of breath. Stay as you exhale. Inhale, one leg mountain. Keep your balance. Exhale, open twist towards the right. Awesome focus, y'all. Lift tall. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, one leg mountain. Lift through center. Exhale, figure four. Cross your right ankle on your left thigh. Sink your hips back. Feel the stretch through your outer right hip. Trust your balance. Press your palms together. Activate your chest. Last exhale here. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent airplane. Smooth, buttery, step back. Sweep your hands behind you. Pull your heart open. Gorgeous transitions. 
Wow, lift your core up and away from your left leg. Create strength and power from your right heel all the way through the crown of your head. Hold here as you exhale your air. Inhale, warrior two, cartwheel open, take up space. Do a dance if you need to, let it go. And then come back to stillness. Hold through the intensity, hug your shoulders together, but then melt them away from your ears. Create length and space. Find an inhale. Exhale, extended side, shift forward. Maintain length through your side bodies as you spiral your heart open, your shoulders and hips to stack. Squeeze as you exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up and back. Imagine you could brush the curtains behind you. Extend a little further, but shift a little bit deeper. There it is, take a breath in. Exhale your hands down, find your flow. Move it out to downward facing dog. Woo. Really beautiful, y'all. Deep breath in. Big sigh out. All right, we flow breath to movement now. Going a little bit quicker, adding on just a hair. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Windshield wide to the left, back to the right, side to side. Keep the stack of your shoulders over your wrist, the dome of your back for four, three, two, one. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, lunge, step. Good. Inhale, easy twist. One time. Exhale, modified twist. Ground your right hand. Inhale, splits. One time. Knee to nose. Exhale, curl. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt down. Inhale, chair. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, one leg, left knee high. Exhale, straight to twist. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, one leg mountain, rise. Here's where we change. Exhale, full airplane, take flight. Kick your left leg back, open your chest, spiral your left hip down. One more inhale. Exhale, step. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale, extended side angle. You can stay here or half moon. Inhale, shift forward. Bring your hand to a block, to the earth, maybe to float. Flex your left toes, reach your left arm high. Gorgeous variations, y'all. Last breath here, nice Cassie. Lightly step back, inhale, reverse warrior, right arm high. Exhale, hands to your mat, flow it out. Woo! Good, exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take it to our left side. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder, or knee to nose. Good, you guys got it. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, now left knee to left shoulder. Windshield wipe across to the right, back to the left. Dome your back, squeeze your core. Find control for three, for two. One, inhale, re-extend. Exhale, lunge, step. Inhale, your left arm high, twist. Exhale, modified pyramid twist. Round your left hand, inhale, standing splits, come up and forward. One time, exhale, right knee to your nose. Inhale, splits. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, create length. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, get low, sweep up. Exhale, chair plane, arms back. Inhale, your right knee high, one leg mountain. Exhale, open twist to the right, spiral. Inhale, one leg mountain, move through center. Exhale, figure four, cross your right ankle, get low. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift. Exhale, full airplane, take flight. Kick your right leg back, engage the muscles of your back body. Think almost like locust pose, can you squeeze a little more? Find an inhale as you are. Exhale, lightly step back. Inhale, warrior two, cartwheel open in space. Exhale, extended side angle into half moon pose if you did so before. Otherwise, keep rocking it where you are. Non-negotiable is powerful breath. Last round. Lightly step back, inhale, reverse warrior, lean into it. Exhale, hands down to your mat, find your flow, high to low plank. Woo. 
Woo! All right, down dog. We got one more round through our flow, adding on just a little bit more. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, lunge, step. Good, inhale, easy twist and pause. Ground for your exhale. Inhale, open crescent twist. Just lift your torso up, keep the twist. All right, we've been working on this transition for a few weeks now, we're gonna keep going. So start to tap your left fingertips down. Take a breath in. Good, exhale, lift up. Two more, tap, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, lift. Last round, inhale, lower down. Exhale, squeeze it up. Listen for the change. Inhale, one leg mountain, sweep forward. Good, exhale, figure four. Good, inhale, one leg mountain. Listen carefully, keep your knee bent. Find warrior three with cactus elbows. Left heel towards the sky, arms out like a goal post. All right, y'all, now exhale, elbows in, left knee to your nose, wrap. Inhale, kick, squeeze, booty up. Exhale, wrap it in. Woo! One more round, kick open through your chest. Exhale, wrap in. Good, kick it open. Exhale, a standing split, hands down. <sighs> All right, y'all, option to stay here or Jiva squats. Exhale, chamber your knees, make it spicy. Inhale up, exhale, Jiva, stay here or handstand play if that is what is calling you. Woo! Here's four, just three. Nice, Marta. Two, step it back to a lunge, left leg back. Inhale, warrior two, cartwheel open. Exhale, extended side angle. Stay or half bind, top hand behind your back, wrap forward. Stay here or half bound, half moon, gaze down, shift forward. Flex your top foot. The bind helps us to spiral our chest open. Get it, Scout. These look great. Nice, Hannah. Oh, beautiful, Michelle. One more full round of breath. Lightly step back. Option to keep the bind. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, take your hands down. Flow it out. Whew. Exhale, down dog. What is the story you are telling yourself in this moment? Right, you can do this. We've got one more side, then rest is coming. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale straight to your lunge. Inhale, easy twist to the left. Pause and ground for your exhale, squeeze your thighs. Good, then big squeeze, lift up as you inhale. Shoulders over your hips, revolved or rather open crescent. Now let's flow it out. Start to lower down as you inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Good, inhale, tap. Lengthen, exhale, press it up. Just one more round, I promise, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, one leg mountain, unwind, come forward. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, one leg mountain, rise. Keep your knee bent, cactus armed, warrior three. Press your right heel up towards the ceiling, squeeze your booty cheek, squeeze your back. Now exhale, elbows in, right knee to your nose, curl up. Inhale, kick, squeeze. Exhale, curl, wrap. One more round, inhale, exhale, curl. Inhale to reset, exhale, standing splits. <sighs> Stay, Jiva, or play time. You know what to do. You know what you need. You are your own greatest teacher in this moment. <sighs> Last breath. Start to journey to a lunge. Step your right leg back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side, stay or half bind. Top hand behind your back. Gaze forward. Half bound, half moon if you took it before. Whew. Get it, Nina, really nice. Flex your toes, squeeze through your core. Find your balance. Last breath. Lightly step back, inhale, reverse it. Exhale, hands down, find your flow. <sighs> Take a deep breath in. Open mouth thigh. <sighs> Last one, inhale. Big exhale. Come down to your knees. <sighs> How are we doing, y'all? <laughs> All right. Love that answer.
towel off, grab some water, give yourself a moment. <sighs> okay. Let's do some core work. <laughs> okay, let's grab our blocks um, and have it, actually, we're gonna start on our bellies just so our blocks don't get in our way. We're gonna set up in a similar position to what we did in our warm up with our arms and legs lifted and elevated. So think like locust with arms extended or Superman. Um, you guys can take a moment to watch first. Uh, we're gonna do Superman rolls. Some of you are familiar, some of you might not be. So we start with our limbs off the floor. The goal is to keep our feet and our hands away from the earth. So then I'm going to roll to the right as I exhale. Keep everything up, hollow body, squeeze, low back flat. And then uh, center, squeeze. And then to the left and lift. And we're gonna keep doing that until I say stop. <laughs> so let's come onto our bellies. First, just give yourself a second. We'll take a deep breath in. Oh, sigh it out. Now inhale, lift up to Superman, arms forward. You can also cactus arms if that feels a little bit better. Just be mindful of your elbows when we roll. All right, now stay for one more inhale. Exhale to the right, roll, Superman. Low back flat, lift your feet up, hollow your body. Good, now inhale back to center on your belly, squeeze. Good, take it to the left, roll. Good, inhale back to center. Squeeze, exhale to the right. Whoo, good, to your belly, inhale. Exhale to the left. Good, now inhale back to your belly and lift up, hold everything and swim like you're swimming from a shark for your life. Keep breathing and swimming and squeezing for four, for three, two, and one, release. Ah. Crocodile pose, cross your palms, bring your forehead flat. Ah. Deep in your breath. Ah, breathe deeply into your mat so that you feel the back of your heart expand. Feel your heart beat against your mat. Recognition of all of your efforts and work that we've done thus far. Ah. Good. Start to press yourself up to a seat. Ah. All right, we'll start to take puppy pose. I'll offer some variations that will help us with our peak pose in a little bit. Um, so we've got layers. I'll show you guys from the side so you can see. So option one is always child's pose, right? Hips can go back, forehead down. We're still gonna open our chest this way. For puppy, our hips are over our knees. We walk forward, forehead flat. So this is a little more mild. Chest lower, chin down, a little more spicy. You could tent your fingers or even tuck your toes, press your hips up. So choose your layer and find like seven deep, really intentional breaths here. Yes. <laughs> Just which one? At all of them? <laughs> yes. Yes. So chin down. You can also do it without tented hands. That can be um, kind of more grounding. Then I'll tuck my toes and then just start to lift my hips. If for any reason you start to feel too much in your back, scoot your knees further back and then you can pick up. Yeah, the closer your knees are to your chest, the more intense this will feel. We're looking to find a stretch through our heart, through our lats, our, the muscles that, are, that line our armpits. So we want chest down, so drop your knees. So we start from here and then chest down first and then tuck and then lift. Oh. Yep. Yeah, like that. And then start to play. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's, so it's, yeah, totally. Yeah, hold there. That's perfect. <laughs> nice, Sally. Oh, a couple more breaths. Just notice how you feel. Notice the feelings coming up. What is this posture teaching you about yourself? And what are you teaching yourself in this posture? <sighs> okay, slowly begin to drop out. Walk your hands in. <sighs> and we'll slowly start to set up for our final flow of class. Make your way to downward facing dog. Pick your hips up and back. If you need a little bit of water along the way, please feel free. Hmm. And as you're ready, guide your hips towards the sky. <sighs> Get a 
it, Katie. <laughs> Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, lunge, step forward with control. Inhale, high crescent, sweep up. Exhale, airplane torso. Inhale, one leg mountain rise. Set up dancer pose on the left. Bring your left hand to your hip crease, scoop your left leg back, and then grab the inside edge of your foot. Already we want activation through the back lining muscles of our left leg. Reach up. You can stay here or start to kick. Squeeze. Open through your chest just as much as you pull back through your foot. And rotate your left shoulder and left hip forward. If you want a little more spice in your life, keep your shape, but bring your hands to your heart. No hands, dancer. Drive your heel up. Squeeze. Beautiful, Nina. We are here for four, three, two, with control, one leg mountain, lift up, set up warrior one, sweep your left leg back, take your arms high, take your feet to railroad tracks here apart, square your hips, find an inhale, exhale, interlace your hands behind your back, puff up, inhale, exhale, humble warrior, melt your torso down onto your thigh or to the inside of your thigh, let your fist heavy itself away from your back to create stretch through your shoulder. You're welcome to stay here or toppling tree, gaze out in front of your right big toe, tiptoe your left foot in, in until you lift to a split. Trust that you've got this. A couple of breaths as you are. Beautiful y'all. We'll all meet in humble warrior, then rise to warrior one. Keep your bind to lift you, then inhale your arms up. Exhale, warrior two, slice open. <sighs> inhale, reverse warrior, lean back. Exhale, extended side angle and pause. We've still got options here. You can find half or full bind, maybe birds of paradise or bound half moon. This is your journey, your exploration. Nice, Chad. Really good. Deep breaths wherever you are. We'll slowly meet back in extended side angle. Retrace your steps. And inhale, star pose. Heels and toes out. Shake it out. Give yourself a moment to reset, to breathe, to loosen your body. <sighs> One more inhale, turn your toes to your arms, exhale, wide leg fold, swim it down. Note your chest between your thighs, lengthen the back of your body. You're welcome to stay in this fold as is or explore, maybe twist, maybe play. Gorgeous expression, last couple breaths. Mm, gently journey back to wide fold. Inhale, lengthen, half lift. Exhale, pivot to the top, runner's lunge. Toe heel your right foot out wide, scoot your left knee back, drop your knee down just for a few breaths to open through the front line of our left hip. Maybe spiral to the edge of your right foot for a little outer hip stretch. Mm. And start to ground your palms, lift your back knee up, and then step your right foot back and come down to tabletop for a moment. Okay, y'all, we've made it to our first side of our peak posture, which is chin stand today. So I know everyone's like, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. Um, so that's why we have these handy dandy blocks. So I'm gonna go over some different steps and layers. So if you can't see, please make sure that you, um, you can, you can move for a second. Um, so right now our left leg is our extended leg. This is how we've been activating this side of our body. So option one is just to work tabletop leg lifts here to build strength, maybe even like a cow pose kick with a straight leg. This will help you find that um, engagement in your body. Next is to maybe find some like chaturanga push-ups, chin tap, press up with your leg extended. Again, this is gonna help you prep into eventually going for chin stand. Um, so I'll show you full variation first and then we'll talk about the blocks. So if I feel like I'm ready for a little bit more, my toes are tucked here, my hands are by my shoulders, chin down, chest down, maybe my chest floats. 
Then I extend through this leg, maybe hop it in, start to kick and lift, maybe knee towards my chest. So it's a lot about back body engagement, but also core engagement, this like thigh to belly pull. But blocks are really nice because like that's a lot for our chest. So blocks, shoulder width distance apart. We can go here, lift up, squeeze, knee in. If we want a little bit more help, a little more love here, lift up, squeeze, kick. Notice my head's free, right? A little safer, a little easier. And then final, super high. Just be mindful if they go side to side here, hands back, elbows over your wrists, lift it up. So let's try it. Here we go, choose your layer or choose zero layers. And we have two sides. So remember, left leg is the straight leg for this side for what we've activated. Right knee is the bent knee. Hands like chaturanga, so fingertips forward. But so yeah, the perfect setup, but hands just back. So shoulders down first. Yeah, like that, that's perfect. Yeah, and then left leg is straight. And then pick up, yeah. And right, maybe you just lift your right knee up and that's layer one. Maybe your left leg is just lifted. Nice alley. Hug your elbows towards your side. Good, make sure your back feels okay, right? We don't want any pinching in our spine. It's supposed to come from a place of strength. That's why we've been doing so much engagement in our back this whole class. So never any sharp pain. Yeah, Marta, bring your hands back. So like, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then pick up. Yes. These look great, y'all. Nice, Angela. Squeeze, kick through your leg. <laughs> All right. Good news is we've got two sides. So let's start to make our way to downward facing dog. Set your blocks to the side. All right. Come to down dog, just reset for a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Those looked incredible, y'all. Take your hips up. Last little push. <sighs> Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, crescent, sweep up. Exhale, airplane crescent, hands back. Inhale, one leg mountain, right knee high. Set up dancer's pose on the right. Oh, super sneaky, Mina. <laughs> Good, you can grab the inner side of your foot and that's dancer, right? That's where you can stay or start to kick. Lean forward, but squeeze, right? It's about strength with the length and the opening. If you did so before, hands to heart, no hands dancer. Kick your right foot up, squeeze like crazy to make it happen. Lift through your chest, elevate, hug tight. Good, one more inhale. We slowly journey to one leg mountain. Guide your right knee up and then reset to warrior one feet. Step your right leg back, feet on train tracks, right heel flat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back into a fist. Inhale, puff up, send your fist down. Exhale, humble warrior. Melt your torso down towards your thigh. <sighs> Find a sense of surrender here in this posture or take it to toppling tree if you did so before. Cultivate the same strength we've been working on everywhere else. Squeeze your back body to create the lift of your right leg. Nice, y'all. Way to commit. It's not about being perfectly balanced. Embrace the wobbles and wiggles. Then we slowly meet in humble warrior. Step back. Then keep your fist. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Arms up once your chest lifts. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side and breathe here. Your layer binds, variation, birds of paradise, bound half moon. Nice, y'all. Slowly retrace your steps, find extended side angle. Inhale, star pose. Oh, take a second, land here. One more inhale. Turn your toes to your arms, exhale, wide fold. Not here for quite as long, about four breaths.
slowly come back. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, runner's lunge to the top. Pivot, toe heel your left foot wide. Just to give our right hip flexor that last little bit of stretch, of length, before the party. Hmm. <sighs> and start to ground your hands, tuck your right toes, lift your hips, and then just step back to tabletop. I will demo one more time if you guys need another visual, but if you feel like you're good to go, take it up. Again, we have other layers. You can start with leg extended, like push-ups here just to build strength, or maybe pulses here to work this back engagement. But, all right, I'll show with blocks one more time. Shoulders come onto your blocks. So they're really resting. You can put a ton of your weight here. And then my hands are back here. Think like chaturanga arms. Notice my elbows are over my wrists. This is very important. My gaze is forward. This time our right leg is the straight leg. So I'll extend it. And then again, you could just work this, right? Beautiful place to stay. Otherwise, lift left knee up. And then we want to lift, squeeze, take it in. I'm letting my chest kind of heavy here to create a little sense of buoyancy and pulling my heart forward. And I'm squeezing, right? That's what keeps my back safe. Hmm. Suspicious. <laughs> Be safe. Right, step by step. It's, these postures are fun to explore, right? They're not meant to happen overnight. Nice court. It's the journey, right? That's where the teaching is for yourself and the poses for you. <sighs> non-attachment to the pose, just the experience, and getting there along the way. <sighs> Slowly start to make your way to child's pose once you're ready. Set your blocks on the right and left sides of your mats. Your blocks will be available for you if you want in Shavasana, which is nice in a moment. We're not there yet. But... <laughs> to come, to be, to be continued. Good, melt your hips back, let your chest soften between your thighs. Take notes of how things have shifted since you first arrived here. And just find gratitude for yourself, for the work that you do, for all the things that you teach yourself, day in and day out. <sighs> Start to come through tabletop and then swing your legs forward. We'll set up for seated forward fold. Micro bend your knees or bend them a lot. We've done a ton of back bending today. So it's nice to create more space for our low back with a bend in our knees. Flex your toes. Find an inhale to lengthen, reach up. Pull your heart forward. Then exhale, fold. I recommend forearms beneath your knees tonight. But if you want something different, again, you're the teacher. You know best. You can gently shift your heels slowly forward as you continue to breathe here, but don't push anything. Deep breaths. Once you feel ready, let your head roll forward and down to stretch the muscles of your back. One more full breath here. Start to unwrap your legs if you have them bound. Just tent your fingers and inhale your chest up. We'll set up for cow face pose. Bend your left knee and then cross your right leg over your left. So your legs might be separated here. That's okay. Um, if you want to scooch or squeeze them tighter, feel free to. Eventually our heels will come towards our hips. Tent your fingertips. Take a juicy breath in. And exhale, start to walk forward with control. Ground your sit bones down. Breathe deeply into your side seat. <sighs> Last breath. <sighs> Start to inhale your chest back up. You're welcome to just cross your legs, switch them out, or San Francisco twist. Bring your hands to the left, press into your right foot, twist a around to the front. Just like that. 
reset your thighs, ground through your sits bones, inhale, create length, exhale, walk your hands forward, melt your torso down towards your thighs. Last round of breath. Inhale your torso back up. This time just don't cross your legs, send them out in front of you. If you want to set up your Shavasana blocks before we lay back, just place your blocks under the backs of your knees and then roll all the way down to take rest. <clears throat> the blocks just give our low back a little extra love to separate and create a little bit of traction. If you know that you want a different posture before we close out, listen to your body, take what feels good. I'll let you know when it's time to wake up. if any part of you has a desire to stay in stillness longer please know that you are always welcome to stay here if you're ready to come back start to move slowly wiggle your fingers and toes <clears throat> and create larger movements until you feel ready for a full body stretch. Being mindful of blocks in your space, turn into a ball and roll to one side. Use your arm as a pillow to support your head and neck. And then press your way up to a comfortable seat with your eyes closed and your hands at your heart. <sighs> the cool thing about yoga is that it's just yoga. It's never about the postures, which the postures are fun and they help us to live a healthy and vital life in our physical bodies. But Really, the true journey is what we learn about ourselves along the way and what we actually teach ourselves. I think so often we seek for answers outside of ourselves and at the root of it, everything lies within us already. So 
So just observe, just notice. So that's all it takes. I see you all and I love you all. And thank you for being here. Bring your thumbs to your third eye, sit tall and proud. We bow in gratitude. Namaste. Thank you all. Really beautiful job today. If you have any feedback, questions about gym stands, there might be a few. Um, I'm always happy to answer. Um, yoga is one of my favorite things to talk about, so just let me know. Um, you guys know the 300 hour is here and happening. Um, we have all kinds of modules coming up. The next one is our hot yoga teacher training for students and teachers who want to get the 50 hour certification. Um, if you have any interest in that, please just let me know. Um, and then there's more modules coming up along the way. So keep your eyes peeled and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, and blocks can go on the silver rack outside and I'll spray them for, for everyone's pleasure. All right, goodbye friends at home. <laughs>